Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, Erin, and Kat. So, Vampire Diaries, we've just watched the last episode. Season 2, episode 20, it's called The Last Day. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> the Last Day yeah. of Summer. <laughs> You were just saying, you're like, where's Christmas yeah, been? The season? Like, where are we? What's the, the last time? day of the world? <gasps> the last day. It's the name of an event because we haven't had an event. Yes, <laughs> the last day ball. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the last day before Klaus and the Poor family Klaus turned human? The curse. Uh, turned unhuman? I don't know. We, Gonna go back in time. Turned unhuman. Last, <laughs> it's, it's the just... last day, because it's gonna be night forever. <laughs> oh yeah, it's interesting. <gasps> we haven't had an eclipse. Come, yeah. Okay. Oh no, wait, no. Eclipse only helps if. What? That was the comet, wasn't it? I had it at the beginning. Yeah, no, no. But I'm thinking not an eclipse. We haven't had like a a permanent full moon. The last I... day would be the last day of someone who's turning into a vampire because they can't go out in the day anymore. I didn't see so much coming from just it's called the last day. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe in the comments. What would you do if it was your last day? See you later. I <laughs> eat so much food. You'd be like, give me all the cheese. <laughs> I'd stuff myself full. I would... Do anything to just see young human person. <laughs> we wouldn't have gone to murder spree. Oh. Murder spree is also a good shout. <gasps> well. No, I feel like you'd, as it's your last day, you'd finally tell everyone about all of the schemes you've been running in the background all this time so you could finally see their reactions. Yeah, it's no, revenge isn't fine if you don't get to see the reaction yeah. of them finding out. First, mm. reaction to the stuff that's happened, but then when they find out it was you. Can't all happen at once because it's gone. Double bubble then. Your class. Does he have a werewolf? Klaus has been waiting to break this curse for over a thousand years. If he doesn't already have a werewolf, my guess is by tonight he will. Oh, mm -hmm. Tyler, don't you dare come back. It's your mother. No. I don't know where you are, but I need you. I've had an accident and I'm not. <gasps> oh no. Please, Tyler. Jeez, come back. How dare you? I'm so angry. Why did I say that? Because you had a terrible fall. No! Get off the stairs! Oh! Jeez! Oh, is that blood of her life? With a creepy hand and everything! It wasn't even down the stairs! It was like a blood you like that! Oh! Oh, it's really making me. Sorry, guys! Oh, is it Alaric? Together, Jerry walked in that when I was a kid. Don't come back. Don't. Oh, damn it, Tyler. But my family raised with this. The monsters met. It's your daughter. I believe Dan and Salvatore was my closest ally in this town. He said he's a killer. That's the other thing you got to remember. Oh, yeah. She's been betrayed by Damon. That kind of confirms. What if? Why haven't you done anything? Why are you hesitating? Because I need more information. And because, in spite of everything I just said, I still look at her and I, and I see my daughter. At least she's showing some like motherly instinct there. Of like, yeah. Mm. But I like that he's Remember, questioning. Yeah. The amount of stuff you see go across his face. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. No. Oh. That's not living. Mm. Oh no 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 no! 
I wonder if that's going to mess with her like taking the elixir. Uh, Being a vampire blood rendered it useless. Okay. Oh, I cannot believe that. I mean, pause for a conversation. <laughs> Oh, I need to it's interesting of what we were saying in the last episode about how Stefan respects Elena's choices and he will always step in to try and save her life but he will also respect her own agency whereas we were saying like Damon won't he's a lot more bullish in your mind and I'll protect you and therefore I won't even give you a choice about it and where he's feeding her blood that's literally, literally going against her own agency because it's Damon, interesting that Stefan said you didn't give her the choice. Damon is selfish. Mm. I don't want to lose you, yeah. therefore that is more yeah. important to me. Yeah. Damon has the impulse control and that's why he's done it because he's so desperate not to lose her. Yeah. And I get that from him as character, but what Stefan said is you of all people shouldn't make that because how upset was he that Stefan did that to him? Mm. Yes, actually... So, some of the questions for this episode. No, Nathan Sal, what are your thoughts on Damon making the choice to feed Elena his blood? And also, if you were in his shoes, would you have made the same choice? No. No. And I would be furious if if any of you <coughs> ever did that to me. Mm. But from Damon's perspective, and again, I'm not saying he's right or wrong, because it's, it's so grey, mm. but he's thinking well at least you will hate me but you will be yes. alive to hate me it's interesting so because as much as yes you're not living mm. you are still you and i still have you yeah that's what i'll say is what's interesting there is damon is prioritizing the presence of being quote unquote alive above all else whereas i think elena it would appear throughout this whole process of her being met with the possibility of her own end has found some sort of peace with if that does happen. I'm okay with the me ending because I know that others will live on from my sacrifice. Yeah. So it's just interesting that she is okay with that ending and he is not. And so it's weird that he prioritises her quote-unquote living, but that almost in and of itself has become a moot point weird entity. Mm. Whereas she's like, I'm okay if I'm not here. And as you said, it's just that you're not yeah. okay if I'm not here. Also, well, that's the thing about loss and grief, isn't it? The person who's gone is gone. Yeah. It's the people left behind that feel it. Mm. I think the other reason why she wouldn't want to... Why she is so okay with dying... Mm. They didn't lose their parents that long ago. Yeah. And depending on what you believe and how you feel... To survive... You have to believe that those people still, they're in somewhere else or there's yeah. something like that. So for her, you leave this life, but death to her could be going to her parents. You mean like mm. he's taken away her chance to go to heaven and meet her parents? Oh, Or something like that. Like so says, sad. You, I'm not saying it's definitely that, but that would be a fear that I would have. What do you think of Stefan's reaction to what if it doesn't work compared to Damon's reaction that he will not let her die? I think Stefan is being more measured and controlled because he's he's not letting all of his fear out. Of course, he, I, I believe that of course he's more scared than what he's mm. letting out, but that won't help anyone right now. Of course not Elena. He needs to be in control and try and be measured and try and help make yeah. the plan. But that's not to say that I don't think he would have done anything or intervened like later on when if it had called for that but i do think that's that he thing. is controlling his emotions whereas damon is not in control of his emotions yes i mean i i agree that he's much more in control i'm not convinced he wouldn't do anything later no yeah. exactly yeah exactly I, agree. I think damon has acted too premeditatively like he's yeah. intervened well it's almost like the, the idea suddenly came to him and so he did it like yeah there was no thought discussion yeah we could yeah. do this as a yeah. backup what about this Have you and also yeah. yeah and also if that were to be elena's choice would she have not wanted stefan to be the one to have been the blood mm. in her veins for her to drink and then change do you know what i mean like that could almost be some sort of a imprinting soul bonding mating thing for them to be together do you know what i mean yeah. like but instead he's just forced some of his bodily fluids in her and i'm just like that's that's a little bit invasive that's 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 violating a little bit and nostalgic girl 
What do you think about the parallels between Damon trying to turn Elena into a vampire and Stefan turning Damon into a vampire? Yeah. They were both mm. selfish mm. actions driven by love and fear of losing that person. Yeah. It's bang on the money. It's exactly mm. yeah, what. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. 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 But it's can I just right. say, Stefan did not give Damon the blood. So there's a slight difference there that he was already in that transitional period. They forced but, him. Yeah, to he did fear. make him do that final yeah. turn. But mm. the, the thing is, Damon was willing to to mm. just die, and Stefan yeah. forced him to. So there's no reason, I guess, that I suppose there's still the gateway for Elena if she didn't want to. Yeah, she doesn't have to feed. But it's interesting because um, it's almost like you can see that uh, Stefan has learnt from his mistake and would not take that choice away from someone ever again yeah and although damon has never done that first hand which is this is the first time he's doing that um it ha- it was done to him mm. so he should still be in a position really to reflect and be like oh i would never do that to someone because that was done to me but then so maybe the one person who's learned from that entire situation was stefan damon hasn't learned anything but now maybe damon will be more understanding towards what stefan did now he's been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. To see his own ve- venom and yeah. rage towards Stefan's choice. I suppose actually looking at it from their perspective, they have eternity. Whereas when someone dies for us, we grieve for our lifetime. Yeah, they're gonna grieve forever. Take care of yourself. That's all she did for you. Tyler. That's a witchy thing. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no! They've now got a vampire and a werewolf to sacrifice. They don't need a vampire though. Caroline can't die. No. Caroline won't die. Don't you dare say something like that. Klaus, I presume, in the flesh. Thanks for the loan, I made. Oh. The doppelganger, but they need a well. No, they need a well <gasps> and a vampire yeah. to sacrifice. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No. Oh, they're such bros. I love it. Delaric, I love them. Damon thinks the way we do. Like it's just a spoon. Sh- so, shifty. Uh, He knows what cards to play. Mm. I'll be honest, it's been staying young and hot. Yeah. I mean, they could travel the world together if she turns into a vampire, you know? Oh. Oh, he's sadistic. Oh, she's very strong. Is he a witch? Yeah. Mm. Oh, look. the trust I love that he went there to kill the werewolf 
And yeah, then it yeah. became Save Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Damon heard that, how bad he would feel. I think you saw instant regret on his face. He already knows he's fucked up. That's why he's going to these lengths and he's willing to die. But that's what he said to Matt, wasn't it? You're lucky I fucked up once already today. You ready, my dear? There's other ways for this plan to go sideways, so she might be okay. Oh, it's always the horrible bit actually having to to let go. Oh God! Oh, poor Matt has never seen this. No. Damon just jumped in front of Caroline. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he is making up for the shoesies done today. Are you ready for this conversation? Yeah, that was before I rescued the world from vampire and killed your witch. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the nice thing about werewolves is they tend to travel in packs. Oh, oh so he's got jewels. <laughs> we don't mind if she does, though, to be fair. We do because. <laughs> And that's where he's got the other witch. He's gonna be the rough up vampire, isn't he? Well, or Catherine. This is why he's such a good villain! Mm. She's in transition. Oh no. No. What does it mean? What is this, Damon? Oh, you've been oh, bitten. Oh, Tyler bit him. And he saw what happened to Rose. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just go for a walk. Or like... <laughs> I feel like just before, I just I feel like I need to just shake my body out a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, you tense. I mean, maybe we can talk like this for a bit because I feel like I need to pace while we do this. Do you know what I mean? I feel really stressed. I think we covered the whole Dame giving Elena the blood mm. enough mm. us, so we passed that bit. Um, Elena's thoughts on not wanting to be a vampire. I, that, I got emotional over that, I have to say. You yeah. don't realise actually how many choices she has now had yeah. taken away from her because mm. of her age. She vocalised exactly how I how I feel and the reasons why mm. I've, I would never, never, never want to. She mm. just all the reasons why I would. I, I know. This is I like don't want to get old. I don't plan on having children, so... But I don't want... I don't... I don't want to be old. But I don't ever not want to get old. I think she 
and I think what she said about to Stefan was like, I love you now. But I'm 17 years old. Yeah. And I love that, yeah. that perspective. Like, because I need that. so many I movies that get swept happen. up and like, yeah, yes, the like, never, and she's actually got... I don't want got... that choice made for me, yeah. essentially is now what... Because you are able to, to choose every day if you want to continue that relationship with that person. And where she's just saying, like, that solidifying of forever right now. You know what I mean? It's, it's yeah. not to say anything really... against that person, but you're just saying, oh, I'm going to have the freedom of choice as we grow old. But you I know, remember at the time it. it really stood out to me as such a contrast to, and you never want to compare it to, but it'll always be the conversations of Twilight, mm. of Bella. Mm. I've known you for five minutes, but I love you so much. I want to be with you forever and be a vampire with you. Idiot. Whereas <laughs> this is much more a... Realistic. And Yeah, and I love what Stefan said to her when he said... If it was an option, you would have brought it up. Yeah. So I yeah. didn't need yeah. to. You yeah. knew it was there. And he knew yeah. already and he was never going to ask no. her because no. he was no. already respecting that he knew she'd made her choice and she'll talk to me about it when she's ready. Yeah. yeah nice. That conversation yeah. has made me buy into their mm. their relationship. Like, yeah, that one maturity. conversation yeah. mm. has done more than every episode up until now yeah that i'm like that that is the kind of love and mutual respect mm. yeah that you want from your partner yeah. yeah because you always want your relationship to be a choice yeah. you don't want to be in a situation I mean, yeah. where you 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 have no options yeah. you want that to be a conscious decision that i'm with yeah. this person and that's my like I choose you every cho- day I, yeah. over and over again exactly because yeah. I have the freedom to not do so yeah. if I want to yeah exactly. not even just the choosing to be with him but the the understanding that knowing that you don't need to ask because yeah it's not been discussed mm. and that for a program that was made quite a few years ago mm that for her the love of her the the love interest mm. is not the only thing that is of value to her yeah that she's yeah. living for the, definitely not saying that there's something she wants more but it's the opportunity and the potential yeah mm. Wow, that, that it was handled well, I think. It was really good mm. in, really? In, in the episode. And yeah. a beautiful setting as well, because that's the kind of shot you normally have set up when the you know the couple are going to like kiss for the first yeah. time, the sunset's going to go down beautifully behind them. But that was almost like a, at some point, we were going to break up. Mm, yeah, because it, they, yeah. their lives could not continue on that trajectory. Or I was going to point, lose you at some point. Yeah, yeah. So it was at some not point like she a... was going to be older and he was going to be younger. Yeah, like... not that like they were, but like at some point I was going to, I was going to die and you were going to yeah. live without mm, me. That mm. was, I would say like that he, as much as I said like if it's your last day, shouldn't you be spending with other family members as well as Stefan? But I like that in a way it's like let's not sit in the house thinking about what's to come let's yeah. get out there that physical exercise as well the fresh air just... nature mm. helped her open up i know you said wouldn't you want to spend other family members i disagree if i was in her position mm. and it was say like i would only want to be with that person not because they are the only person of value to me but because if you go and spend your last day with Jeremy or with Bonnie and you try and see all of these people, you either you're telling them and it's the you have to relive it and be in that, or you're lying to them and it's really weird. See, I have two things I think which is why she's not with say Jeremy, even though I, I would have loved for her to have been with Jeremy to to say certain things to him like. I want you out of this vampire stuff. I want you to go and do this, you know, do this with your life. You know, those... Mm. She can still say all that stuff, though, if she's thinking that she's going to survive. Mm. But um, I think she's not with those people, and I say Jeremy in particular, because one, it might break down her resolve to go through with it. I was just thinking that. I was like, it's going to make her decision mm. harder, because where I said before, she's made her peace with yeah. what is going to happen to but her. Knowing it's going to break him. That would, that would absolutely... And two, we're already having to deal with 
Damon trying to stop it. Mm. She doesn't Everyone want Jeremy would, yeah. to try and do something. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking, is going out in nature was not involving anyone else, mm. very, very much reflection and metaphor of that clear-headedness. Yeah. But also at the moment, Jeremy doesn't know, does it? Well, we yeah. don't... Yeah. As far as we know, he mm. doesn't know that she's got a vampire blood. Like, Jenna knows. Yeah. But if Jeremy doesn't know, so she d- she probably doesn't want to then go and have to have that conversation. Like, she can have it later. Well, mm. Jeremy's Depending still in that situation of, I'll use Elena or I'll use Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This sucks. Speaking Maybe of... he thinks the decision has been made that it's going to be Bonnie, and that's why he's with Bonnie. Yeah, who knows? Well, so speaking of Jenna, bastards. Yeah. Taking away choice from yet another person today, like forcing it upon her. So does that mean? Well, I suppose it means she would have she time. would have drank Klaus's blood. Well, it sounds like they used Catherine, probably posing as Elena, mm. to get Jenna out of the house so they yeah. could get her. Yeah, But do we think that she is... And again, I don't think this makes any difference. We've not been led to believe that it does, but are we thinking that she's been forced to drink Klaus's blood? Yeah. So right, when she turns, that's the blood that she'll have in her like, system. I don't think it does. Mm. Yeah, um, he doesn't strike me as someone that's doing his own dirty work. I can't really well, so yeah. Well, this is... But she Only because he yet. wanted to make a super race, so I just yeah, wondered if she's in transition, he... so she's gonna turn or die. Mm. There's no, yeah. you can't. Um, what I think is also back. interesting with Klaus is it shows how sadistic he is, in the respect that, like Elena said, I did everything he said to keep the keys for people I love safe. Mm. Yeah, and it yet still didn't work. You have, yeah, killed Jenna because he could have used Catherine. Yeah, he, but he wants you... to prolong. But he's yeah. also punishing Damon. For messing, for with, messing with it. Yeah, I suppose so that's he's putting it, it on. It? So he, his thing will be, Damon messed. So he's going to say to Elena, Damon messed with it. So the deal's off. Mm. Essentially, isn't it? Well, she never had a deal no. with Klaus. She had a deal with Elijah. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he's been quiet. Where is Elijah? Yeah. Well, yeah. he he walked away from it because Damon messed it, messed up. it up. So there was. Yeah. Um, and as much as we saw. Damon doing wrong in this he really tried hard to fix it in mm. any way the only way he could would be the delay yeah so what I like though is that he went there to I said kill the werewolf obviously not knowing it was going to be Tyler mm. until Catherine said but I'm going to kill the werewolf because werewolves are harder to come by because we know there's loads of vampires in town mm. got to kill the werewolf yeah. but the first thing he did when he went in there was save Caroline mm. and he was going to leave Tyler there mm. he wasn't even going to kill Tyler I think that's because it was Tyler and like you said to Matt, I've already screwed up once today, so yeah. I won't kill you. I can't kill Tyler. I'm going to save Caroline. But then in saving all of them there, like I said, he jumped in front of a werewolf mm, <laughs> to save yeah. Caroline without a hesitation. And appears to have got bitten. Yes, he's got a bite. But this is where the fluid morals seem to come mm. in. I'll save the werewolf that I know. Yeah. I'll save the... If there had been another vampire in there, yeah. would they have saved that vampire? Mm-hmm. You un- you understand it because I think we would we would do we would all do those yeah. same actions. But if you're looking at it objectively, though the acceptable and what you yeah. will and won't do. Mm. But then you said it about you know other people like with Bonnie earlier on, it's that I have my morals when it suits. Mm. But it's quite that's but, Possibly the most human behaviour of all it is, context. But one thing I will always defend Damon over in that situation is Damon never he never says otherwise. He never acts like I'm the good guy and mm. I would do it for all of you and then not follow through. He Yeah. He's very much if anything, he's like, No, I'm not saving anyone and then he goes and does it and goes, Well, it's because I had to, because not because I want to, because it was good or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Surely it's gonna make a difference that Tyler hadn't fully become a werewolf when he would have bitten Damon. What do you mean, no? I'm telling you, you're wrong. A bite is a bite. <laughs> but I, like, I, I'm sorry. I, what I don't understand is we can't have Damon die. Elena either die or become a vampire. Jenna either die or become a vampire. 
that all the like, people I'm that sorry, we love are basically yeah, at risk of just oh, everything's going to shit. Look, unless you, there's like the magic you, fairy that pops is, in and goes, right oh yeah, now, by the way, we've got some time yeah, travel that's going to go on. You can't see a way out right now, and that's what it is. is you I'm can't like, see a way out of spoiler, all Spoiler, it's all a dream. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that. So, no, no. That, but I am going to have to really trust them because I mm. feel like they've written themselves into a very weird corner. Mm. Because it has to be, and I know we're talking fantasy, the fix for at least some of them has to be believable. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like It can't be all oh, everything's wrapped up in a ribbon, everyone's happy. I do think we're going to potentially lose a main character. Potentially. To, so to, what they're, I think like, what they're setting us up for, you're going to... Someone's going to die. There's no way that this storyline believably can finish without us losing someone of importance. I mean... So then, but who and how and... Exactly. Don't know. And what, Don't because... Know. I'm just very stressed and a little bit annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that's in trouble that I can see that isn't actually in the immediate danger is probably Elena because all, they just don't, don't, just don't, if they don't yeah. do the ritual, then she's not, the vampire will just pass Catherine out. Catherine doesn't appear to be in immediate danger. But we don't care about her. Whoa, whoa, I, whoa. I wonder if Catherine's going to help out in some way because like she's Catherine. had that other vein, she's not yet left. No, she I wonder leave. if she's going to help. She's stuck, in, she can't leave, can she? Unless she finds a loophole or if the vervain stops the... I don't know, can the vervain help stop the compulsion or lessen it? It can't only stop future ones. Okay, compulsion. okay. So, so unless she can find a loophole somehow. She... I appreciate. She's like, I had to do it because he... Otherwise he'd have known. Yeah. Mm. Yes, but you're like, could you have, like, worded things in a... In a nice way, or like I, you, you don't know, you didn't see. Okay, the thing with Catherine is, we know she looks out for herself. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like this thing she's got at the moment with Damon and with Klaus and everything is, I'll help you to an extent, but if it's gonna backfire on me in any way, I'm not doing she it. She needs survival. She's, yeah. Yeah. Which can you blame her? She has no other than obviously her history with no, Damon and Stefan. But yes, she has no ties. No, but yes, <laughs> she has no ties to these people. I God can't blame her, but I will. Yeah. Well, do you know what? She's one of those to... characters that I fully accept that she's a terrible person and an absolute bitch, but as a character, oh, she's I fantastic. love watching her. Yeah, the, the, the dynamics she pushes are amazing. The sassiness, the unpredictability, the outfits, the hair, the shoes, mm, the grenades need... she just throws <laughs> yeah. in. And, yeah. I need someone that I can be cross at. Klaus? I be cross at him. He's just like doing his thing. You're in. <laughs> Oh, this no, is, I know. That's so exactly like, why Ted Bundy got away with murdering women for so long. This is where we get Can't it. possibly be him. But he's those so evil handsome. witches stopped him being his true self. No, no. What I'm just saying is, like, he's doing, he, like, yes, it is all his fault. Like, <laughs> bad, bad class. Um, I'm so convinced. <laughs> he is, he's being his true nature, though. Like, it's like. Yeah. That's as we said, he was unhinged and he's scary. Yeah. His, his wrath will just go so far. Um, well, like I said, he's a great villain because mm. you think, I follow your plan. Yeah. <laughs> back up. Yeah. He's, back and he's, like, he's, back he's up. over a thousand years old. Like, he's very smart and very strong. I, I was scared for Damon when they were when he was in his presence. Like, Hi, I turned up just fucked up your whole plan. Interesting, though, that he didn't it's then like, use Catherine as the backup vampire. Because no, like you said, he wants to keep her alive to play with her. Life. He wants his revenge on her to last for ages. He's yes, he sadistic. You, you yeah. ran away from me for 500 years. Your death will last at least half that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And yeah. do you know what? How confident is he in his own abilities that rather than be like, do you know what? I'll make one. Not, oh, I'm worried about my plan. I'll just go with the safe option. Mm. No. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll but again, one. why not take Stefan? Yeah. Mm, he was right there. Sorry. Uh, oh, sadistically, if he lets Stefan stay alive to tell the tale, because Did he your know your um, reputation is, is not going to mm. live unless you've got people at to stay alive in the misery of what you've done so they can tell their but story. But at the point he came for Elena, did he know about... Did he know... No, he didn't. So he yeah. wouldn't have... And then Stefan's in the house, so he can't get them when they're in the house. Also, though, I think he would have chosen him if he was desperate. Yeah, yeah like, where's where's the fun? Stefan can suffer. Yeah, 
Yeah, because because they've been trying to file me, so I let them suffer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Also, just shout out for Tyler's mum because that throw down the stairs was savage. <laughs> I was not okay with that. <laughs> it's not but, like she fell down the stairs. She fell on like the banister. But I like that they've gone and yeah. given us a reason. Which man? They've given us a reason for Tyler's return. It's yes. not just, oh, yes. coincidence, he happened to turn yeah. up at yeah. the same time. Do you know when she was first going up the stairs leaving the voice message, I, for a split second, thought that she was lying to try yeah. and guilt him to come in yeah, home because she was desperate. But then when it turned out, it's like, oh, no, fuck, she's being compelled or whatever. And it was like whatever the witch versions of compelled. So it was horrible. Um, what I love, though, there is that when Tyler's leaving and he bumps into Caroline... It's because she is there to visit his mum. Yeah. Like he's yeah. she's not there to see Tyler. He's not even in town, but she's such a good person. Like, mm. oh no, Mrs. Lockwood's in the hospital. I must go. You and know. she must be having a hard time because Tyler's been gone now and we don't know why. Like, yeah. But Shame. how many seventeen year olds would think, Oh, I must go and do that because mm. it's the kind thing to do. Mm. She is a monster. And yet mm. people are like, She's a monster. Like Yeah. Mm. Actually it's yeah, really good point. In this whole episode where we were seeing Matt have that confusion of like but no she's still the same good caroline she literally gave an example of still the lovely same you know good caroline yeah. and good nature to like go and visit said, someone in hospital. it looked like matt was going to tell her yeah yeah that her mum knows and her yeah. mum still is you know, admitting that she's delaying because she, mm. he may still tell mm. her though yeah like obviously yeah. but like we said because you said why can she not see it mm. she's seeing it but like she said she thought Dame, so this betrayal of Damon has made her doubt. Mm. God sake! But also, the God's sake, Damon. Be, presumably, Matt now is also going to see Caroline helping Tyler. Say like, mm. you know, she's been kidnapped. Like trying mm. to save, like all that, and she's done nothing to. They've just helped him. Mm. Like, and he yeah. would have seen Damon then protect him and Caroline from. Yeah. Tyler, like he's seeing then, vampires as. as, yeah. as Personable and yeah, he's still seen good. the grey, still good. Yeah, yeah. the mm. thing possibly that shocked me the most this episode is how quickly Matt was just shot a gun without because I appreciate he thought it was a vampire, was a witch, so really he has just killed a human or injured a human that then Damon then finished mm. off, but mm. also. He thinks that Damon is the like the worst of the worst, but he stopped him from. But I can't remember exactly the conversation they had before they fought because we don't know at what point Matt appeared. So if Matt's yeah. heard the conversation and gone, "Hang on, he's holding Caroline. Damon is trying to save her." Yeah. And that whole better the devil you know. Yes, because Matt but was also... behind a wall. Yeah, and but why was he there though? Was he following Damon? Oh, I don't know, but it's. I'm it assuming rattled. not, because Damon must have Caroline. Damon must have gone at vampire speed. Because if you've got vampire speed, why would you go normal mm. speed? Yeah. <laughs> so I think what he was looking for yeah. Caroline. Yeah, he was looking for Caroline, but we don't know how he knew that she was there. Yeah. Oh, it's, Ooh, a lot. it's all ramping up. I'm, I'm, I'm relying on Bonnie and Elijah. Come on, <laughs> come so, save uh, the day. <laughs> Mystery third party. <laughs> and Jeremy. And Jeremy. Yeah. Jeremy. Savia enters, enters the chat. <laughs> So that was our reaction to season two, episode twenty, the last day. What a day it was! Oh. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.